Vieria, the most requested and quite possibly the most anticipated cook on the Wall Twins channel. We are excited to finally learn how to do this mouthwatering savory dish and we can't wait to share it with you. Do you wanna see our take on Vieria tacos? Then stick around while we dig in. Welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do no matter where we are. And I say that because typically we're in the backyard diner today, we're at the Brickyard Diner, but I'm yes. so happy for today yes. and for this moment. And I gotta say, the whole place smells unbelievable. Yes, it, oh, I'm sorry, it smells unbearable. Oh, um, that's unbearable. That's it's great, man. Unbearable. I wish I would've thought of that, darn it. Next I'll time, you'll get another fun. Okay, keep okay, trying. Okay, okay, all right. Yeah, Brett, walk us through this. Brett learned this one, and he was talking me, telling me all about it, and I couldn't wait to come and film this. So, Brett, tell us what we what goes into this and how this. Well, should we do the groceries first, and then? You don't have to tell them because there's a lot of ingredients, but let's go ahead and show the process. Okay. All right, so yes, we have uh, Chuck here. Um, the recipe calls for four pounds. We found 3.7 pounds. Then it calls for short ribs. And then we've got, as you can see, the spices not pictured is salt, which will be in there as well. Cilantro, which we'll be using as kind of like a garnish and also as a topping if we want. White corn tortillas and this uh, Mexican melty cheese. Now, I've se we've seen many recipes that call for multiple peppers. This recipe just called for guajillo. So here it is right Right here, we'll use eight of them and we will be de-seeding them as well. In fact, speaking of de-seeding, let's get to the process. Yeah, in fact, uh, <laughs> speaking of de-seeding, let's uh, get to the process of what happened. This was really fun watching Brett and as I learned, this, these, these were my takeaways of some of the key things. So he cut the meat up, got it right in the pot. Then we Set got the, the peppers out and this part I was I was interested. I've seen how others did it. It was great to actually get to participate in this part. We just cut the tops off and de-seeded them. We dumped out all those seeds because they are aged a little bit so they are going to go ahead and fall right out, made it super simple got those prepped and ready, set those aside. And then I thought for sure we'd be slicing and dicing this onion. Nope, just cut in half and tossed right in. We got garlic tossed right in and it was a whole garlic. So same thing, I thought skin on and skin on and everything. And just got this all in the pot. And then once everything was in the pot, we went ahead and covered it with cold water. Mm -hmm. About well, seven to eight cups. About seven to eight cups. And then we pulled it and got it right on, on the stove, stove top. Oh, we got bay leaves in there and then also all of our seasoning. So you've got paprika, which is gonna help with that red coloring. Same with the chili. Got, same with the chili powder. Then we got uh, cumin, oregano. oregano, cumin. And I think that's it, a little bit of salt. And that's pretty much it. We got this on to the stove top, brought it to a boil. Once it started boiling, we let it boil for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, that looked incredible. And we just wanted to dig in. Now that's not true, still had a long way to go. So then this is how it becomes a consomme. We go ahead and we, we skim off the uh, imperfections or the little the little bits and pieces the, that the float. Debris. The debris, if you will. And that's actually what makes it a consomme. Consomme is French for perfection. So that's how you make it this perfect little sauce. Clear. So that's what makes it this, uh, so it is red, but it's a little clear fluid, uh, liquid, a consomme. And so, so after we boiled, we got the consomme. And then what we did is we pulled those red peppers out and we put them into the food processor with, uh, I would, we ended up with about a quarter cup of the stock that was in there as well and really just blended this. And then what we did is we drained it. Now, Brett had made this before where he didn't drain it, ended up with some of the skin of the pepper A on there. A lot of the skin. Not as Lesson good. Learned. So we made sure we um, drained this and it was, a, it was a great process. So we drained it, we got, we got what we needed out of it, put all of that back in, into the pressure cooker, and we set this for an hour and 30 minutes. Now, if we were doing this in a slow cooker, this would be anywhere from three to five hours. Three to I five thought. hours. I mean, it, it, it called Depending for on simmering. how you cook it, simmer, yeah, there after, you go. After boiling it, this recipe called for uh, simmering for another three hours. So to cut that in, ha in, in half, we just pressure cooked it. It's absolutely amazing. Now, a couple things. Uh, one, one takeaway is they say when it's done, you wanna skim the fat, the oil that's at the top, mm -hmm. and you use that for cooking the shells. But because we're doing right here on, on the Pit Boss griddle, we're, we're actually gonna slide it. the shells into the top of the broth and lay it down. And we're just pulling from the from the same pot. And when we're done, we'll also get our little bowls yep, of the consomme, the broth. The bowls ready to go. We'll be dipping these in and at them. Life changing, I'm telling you. I know, watching Brett uh, also shred this uh, meat right at the end, he was like, this is just falling right apart, and it was 
This looks unbelievable. So this is birria, which is like a stew now. Traditional birria called for goat meat. Uh, goat meat is hard to find here in Central Florida. Yeah, <laughs> less common. We, so this is we didn't the, look hard, but right. it wasn't at the grocery store. But this is a beef birria. I know a lot of people say, well, if it's not birria, it's barracoa. It's a little bit different, but this is the birria process. And this is a case of birria taco. Sure. So we can't wait to get to it. And it, the process goes pretty quick from here because the cook is done. Now we just gotta war uh, finish warming. I guess warming the tortillas, crisping them up with the cheese. And Correct. Everything. Yep. Let's get to it. Yeah, the griddle is hot. We've got it on low because it's been yes. on for a little while. And it, all, it's, all we're doing is cooking this up. It doesn't need a steam. It doesn't need to sear or anything. Now, Brett, did we explain the cheese that this is actually? We have this bag. Yeah, this, this is actually the. Yeah, this is, so this the is the cheese that I had already, and then the, the block that we showed you, we've actually shredded it and put it in here. Right. It's the That's same kind. I wanted yeah. to make sure it is the yeah. quesadilla. It's melted, Mexican melting cheese. Yes, Mexican melting cheese. You should be able to find it in your grocery store, which we found on our public. So this is kind of a quick process. So okay. here we go. So I'm gonna take this, simply get it in there, make sure it gets good and soaked. And now these white flour tortillas. They're corn tortillas, they are very fragile, so keep that in mind. Keep going, get a few on there. That is incredible. It is, <laughs> wait. You just wait, son, you just wait. Let's start with four, how about that? Okay, sounds good. You missed a spot. You missed a spot. I know, I see it. Hold on. Nice. Look at that nice little crisp, crisp on that. Oops. There you go. Okay, now this is done. So I've got to get, let's put some right here in the middle. Trying to be nice and easy with the cheese, but it's coming out in clumps. All right, then we're gonna flippity doo dah those. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> Next. That one kind of went right in the middle, so you're gonna have to kind of work for that one. Look okay. at those. Ready? Yep. Quick flip. Oh man. That is what <laughs> you want media to look like. That one, all the cheese is coming out, sticking there. Oh man, hurry, push the meat back in on that one. All right, there you go. <laughs> Jeez, dude, this looks unreal. That cheese is sticking, kind of forming a crust there. And then I'm going to start plating these ones up. Yep. All right, so after Adam watched me do the first couple batches, he's like, let <laughs> me get in on some of this. Well, dude, so. I got to film Brett doing all of it, so I figured, I'd like to get in on the action. <laughs> Here we go. I woke up feeling on top of the world Like nothing's ever gonna bring me down This feeling got me flying high as a bird I may never touch the ground it may not be my birthday, but I just want to celebrate. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish these. You get the process, this is awesome, and we wanna make enough for everybody. So we're gonna finish this up and let's get to, uh, let's get to the B-roll. Well, 
there it is. There it is indeed. <laughs> we've oh got my. our taco, we've got our consomme, we have the whole plate. We're like, let's just set it down because yeah. we're getting ready to yeah, eat it I anyways. We'll take a couple bites and tell you what we think about so, it. So a few things, the griddle is a little dirty. We've been here cooking all weekend, so I do need to do a deep clean to get that nonstick back. So some of them kind of stuck a little bit, but we'll get it back up and running. Yes, we will. And man, this consomme looks amazing. Yes. Birria taco looks oh amazing. Oh my gosh. But like we say, Brett, it can look amazing. Uh, this does look absolutely amazing. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is all, all for not. not. Oh, gotta there get it dipped yeah, in there. Yeah. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My, My brother. brother. Mm. Wow. That has that so much flavor. Take a moment. Mm. Mm. That is so satisfying. <laughs> Dude, the cheese is a great compliment. Now I get now, the hype. The savory in this, mm. in this dip, in this broth, in this consomme. Mm. The light crunch and crisp you get mm. from the taco shell. Absolutely. Mm. That is so good, and those tortillas are amazing. Now, oh, I love my it. Gosh, I would love to try it with a flour tortilla. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it now? I did not find one recipe that called for flour tortillas, so that'd be interesting. I bet you would be really, really well, good. Well, no worries, Brett. A, a little take that we're gonna be doing with this birria later, we'll show what we can do with a little bit of flour tortilla. That's very true, very true. Some so, more to come, so you gotta make sure and check out that for sure. we have, are now deeming this birria week. Birria week for sure, man. <laughs> this was so much fun, and of course, it's still a learning process for us but this recipe is stellar, you gotta give it a oh try. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you did like this though, and it helped you get another creative idea, something that you can cook on your griddle, make sure and give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way which you can support our channel. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to our store in the description below this video. Our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions, who works closely with Crossroads Missions. And Crossroads Missions does amazing service work. In fact, a portion of all the purchases made through the Walt Wins goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and their amazing service work. And we do also have a Patreon. Yeah, we sure do. Shout out to our griddle cool entourage. entourage. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support that you give us. We love you so much. And if you'd like to show support through Patreon, that information is listed down below as well. Right. Thank you so much to our Patreons. We really do love you guys. And for everybody being here, thank you so much. We love getting to come and share these cooks with you. Brett, aside from coming to share this one, the birria, the incredible birria taco. Can I get a birria, yeah? Birria, yeah. Yeah, again. <laughs> Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on! on.